Mr. Smeagol. I hate to bother you. I know it's hot. It's very hot. Enjoy your nap, buddy, okay? Thanks for opening the video up for me, Mr. Rooster and Mr. Walt the turkey. So what is going on guys? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. It is one hot day. We are like at 98 degrees or something in the next couple days. It's supposed to be like 104 one day, which is pretty early for this time of year. Well, what do you know, little turkey? What'd you do? Come to see me? I think your mama likes you talking to strangers. This little turkey is getting so tame because he sees whenever it's feeding time, he always runs out to me. And uh, he... They, it, I'm gonna say it because I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. It lets me throw the feed down on the ground. It usually eats whatever I got. We got chickens everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Running everywhere. Well, he's just watching his uh, baby. His babysitting. And there's two of the ducks. And there's two more ducks. So, you guys seen the last video where I was talking about getting rid of the duck. Well, the same thing happened again with the other male duck. So, that male duck is gone as well. He actually actually hurt the third little duck. And I say little, these things are growing really quick. I don't know where the third one is. Um, I think it's going to survive. I doctored it pretty good. But the male duck was being so mean to these babies, what they were doing is, and I don't know if it's just because the male duck knew that one of these babies was another male. I don't know what's going on. But he was going up behind these babies and just pulling on the back of their heads and like ripped the skin. So I, I just got rid of him. Um, I doctored the other one and it was running around here somewhere just last night, but I haven't seen it yet today. So hopefully it's still all right. But the male ducks are gone so all we got right now are the adult females um one of those little ones might be a male but we'll just have to wait and see so i got some family down from michigan and yesterday my uncle wanted to come over he wanted to go shoot around and um because i got a little target range set up back here in the pasture if you guys have been following this very long you know what i'm talking about and anyways, they came over yesterday and I said, all right, I'm gonna get the ranger ready because I had, uh, I think three cousins come over as well. So there was five of us total. And anyways, I was like, well, let me uh, put the dogs up real quick. So I came over to the barn. I was gonna put the dogs up and I could not find the dogs anywhere. I said, well, I don't think they're gonna come over there and bother us with all the loud noises that we're going to be doing. Anyway, so let's not worry about it. I figured I'd just laying over there by the pond or something. Seen all the goats, but I've never seen these guys. I never could find you yesterday. So I'm texting Rachel. I said, hey, if you're outside, will you please look and see if the dogs are in the barn? I said, I do not see them over here. She was out here cleaning waters or something. She said, I don't see them anywhere. Called for them. They never come out. Never come out. We were out here for over an hour doing some uh, target practice and I never did see these dogs so I, at this point I'm getting very worried because they have been obsessed for the last couple of weeks over at the pond they just been sitting there watching all these little um, cottontail rabbits run back and forth into the weeds and onto our property back and forth just like that and they're trying to catch them this whole time but they haven't been able to catch them well I was like, well, I'm going to go check the fence lines and make sure they didn't dig out from under the fence because these dogs have never jumped out of the fence. So I was like, I don't think they would do that. And a lot of times when dog, one dog gets out, usually it's two dogs. So in my mind, the whole time, I'm thinking, oh man, our dogs are out. It's 100 degrees almost. It's too hot for this. They're going to be running a coyote or they're going to be chasing rabbits. And we don't live too far away from a major highway, so they could potentially get hit by a car. We have had a dog do that years and years ago. But anyways, so I drive around on the Ranger after our company leaves. I'm trying to find them. I couldn't find them. So Rachel's like, I'm going to go look now. I'm going to go check the fences and I'll go look. Make sure there's no goats. Heads stuck in the fence or nothing else. And 
Rachel actually found where the dogs were. They didn't leave the farm. Um, you know, that's one of the scariest things that can happen when you have livestock, when you have any kind of animal, dogs. Um, we live out in the country, so if your dog gets out and runs into another farmer's property, say it just be a cattle farm, our dogs have never been around cattle. What if them cattle just had baby calves on the ground and they start chasing them because they think it's fun and the farmer comes out and uh, shoots at them or something? I mean, things like that happen. They go down to the road like I was talking about. Things like that happen as well. And I'm gonna show you guys where Rachel found them. So if you guys remember years ago, the kids wanted to build a fort. So that's what we did. We built a fort over here. It has a slide, it has tarp over it. I mean, it's a fort for kids. So this is where the dogs was laying right here under this and you can see they've got that all kind of knocked down because it's it stays nice and cool there's a nice breeze right here it's covered with this tarp and the canopy of all these trees right here this is one of the little wooded areas on our pasture so it actually stays a lot cooler than the other property does because it's kind of in a low spot and uh it blocks the sun right all right mr leesky i got something for you in my pocket i think you smell them too don't you Where's Miss Cora, huh? Where's Miss Cora? But anyway, so Rachel came over here and she said, Cora looked like she was stuck. She was wedged so far back underneath that uh, slide. She's like, I didn't think she was gonna be able to get out. What do you know, Mr. Leesky man? What do you know, Mr. Leesky? He's wanting to, he's wanting to take a selfie real quick. Oh, he's a good boy. You had me worried to death, you know that? I literally was worried to death that the dogs was missing. I could not find them. I did not think one time come over to the fort and check but sure enough that's where they were so mr. Leesky don't scare me like that again okay man don't scare me like that you guys are irreplaceable you know that and you're good dogs yeah I know I'm a good dog let's go see Cora come on let's go see Cora you're gonna flop down on my feet so I can't move look at him yeah you think you're funny huh Look, he's laying on my feet, a hundred and probably thirty or forty pound dog is laying on my feet and now I can't get up. And you know what you're doing, don't you? He's like, yeah, I know what I'm doing, man. He's like, see my smile? What, you want me to scratch your belly? Huh? You want me to scratch your belly? I just wanted to make a quick video and come out and tell everybody how worried I was about you and what you did. Alright, let me, let me get off my foot. Get off my foot, boy. Don't roll on it. Get off of it. There we go. We gotta go find Cora so we can give her the treat. So, yeah, guys, this, this video is just a short little video. Um, I was worried to death, and uh, Rachel came out here, and she knew exactly pretty much where to check. I don't know how. Or I don't know if she just got lucky. I called and called for the dogs, and they would not come out. Went back to the house, I said, I don't know what to do. I said, I guess we're gonna have to start calling all the neighbors or post something on Facebook because if our dogs are out, there's no telling where they're gonna go. Um, I don't know of any other goat farms anywhere close, but in my experience, the first time a dog gets out or even the hundredth time a dog gets out, what they usually wanna do is go roam and uh, that's never good, so. I got this bone right here. I don't know where Cora went, but I'm gonna give Mr. Leesky a bone. He's a good boy. You didn't even need it. Eat your bone. <laughs> we'll go find Cora and give her one. But other than that, everybody's doing good. Um, it is super hot. It's summertime. It's hot every year. It's to be expected. Um, the Kiko and the Spanish goats do really good in the warm temperatures. Um, but of course you guys know we got tons of trees so at any point in the day our goats can go wherever they want and find shade you know there's so many trees here if the sun's coming up there's gonna be shade on the other side or if it's going down there's gonna be shade just about anywhere and I see I see Miss Cora's over here laying in the shade let's see if you guys can spot her she's a Brindle Anatolian so she's kind of camouflaged 
I'll zoom right in on her. Oh, she just raised up, so she's not that hard to see now. She got that bright pink pink collar on. Cora, I got you something, girl. I got you a prize. And of course the goats love the compost pile. You all wanna go swimming? He said, give me one another one of them bones, please. I like them bones, Dad. He said, I like them bones. Well, let's go give Cora hers first. I'm supposed to give the girls first choice. But she's kind of over here chilling with the goat. She don't want to be out in the sun, and I don't blame her. But I'm going to walk over to the pond here in a minute. I did see a snake in it the other day. Just a little one. Harmless. Miss Cora, what you doing, girl? So, a little update on Cora. She has not been whining. Um, I haven't heard her whine in the last, what, three, four, five days. <laughs> really, he's, he's going to say, oh, you don't need to see Cora. I'll get in between you guys. Here, you take your bone. Here's your bone. You get a bone. Here, get your bone. No, that's not fair. Here. Here, Cora. Here. At least you can't have all the bones. Here, girl. Here you go. Seriously, you don't like bones? Huh? Don't make me go back in the house and get pepperonis. She said, I don't want bones. I just want my belly scratched. Excuse me, I gotta scratch your belly. Here. Scratch your belly. Oh. Lisky. I'm not wanting to ride no horse, buddy. Alright, I gotta show you guys this. Look at this dog. He is as big as a horse and he acts like a horse. All right, stop. Here. Here. She said, I don't want the bone, I want to be scratched. He's getting jealous is what it is. See, look. Hey, quit, get off of her. Okay. Quit. All right, I'm gonna set this camera up and show you what he does. Alright, I'm gonna pet Cora. Cora's my buddy. Cora's a baby girl. Now, here's a baby girl. What are you doing? Huh? <laughs> See, Mr. Leesky does not want anybody else to have the attention. Get your leg going. Get her old leg going. There you go. Here, you lay over here. You lay over here. <laughs> lay down. See how many legs we can get going. There we go. We got a band going now. Right? We got a band going now. Good girl. Here, you got a tick on your eye. You got a tick on your eye. Oh, she ain't gonna let me get it. No, she ain't gonna let me get it. Nobody wants no treats? Huh? All right. All right, so now I got a goat messing with the camera. Oh, get out of there. So, anyways. We'll finish the story and I got a pail, a bucket out here for some reason. Come on, let's go to the uh, pond and we'll see if the goats, if the dogs want to swim. I know the goats ain't going to. So, I was very, very relieved whenever Rachel said, I found the dogs. They were over underneath the kid's fort. And here's what happens when you leave buckets or pails or anything out. The dogs will chew it. See that? I see you found my bucket. That's what I get for leaving it out, huh? Yeah. So, yep, there's that. So, back to the duck story. We had always dreamed of having ducks out here on this pond. But you guys know what these Anatolians that we have, they're not trained around birds. We don't... We haven't just sat there and trained them to be raised with birds. So naturally they think any bird that is on this piece of land around their goats is a predator. So they take them out. So we can't have ducks or chickens over here. You guys remember if you guys have been following us two years ago, we did have the five male ducks that we started with and most of them was over here at the pond. But the dogs, kept catching them and the dogs didn't like them so I didn't get to keep them very long 
And if you guys are wondering what this weed is right here, let me zoom in on it. All those little petals, that is called duckweed. And I actually ordered that online purposely to get it started in this pond. It is a uh, very good source of protein for animals. Um, mostly waterfowl really like it, but there are people, fix my tripod here. There are people that actually, other farmers that harvest this duckweed out of their pond and they supplement their hogs or their pigs with duckweed because it's, it's very high in protein. It's a, a good food source. Um, they'll take rakes with like tractors and stuff and they'll rake it all out. And then, you know, it just keeps coming back. But this year is the first year in a long time that we actually had wild ducks staying on our pond and they were here for weeks. Now they didn't get up on the land so the dogs didn't bother them. They just stayed on the water the whole time. But I think it was because we got all this duckweed. So another weird thing is these lily pads, we did not put these here, but they keep getting bigger and bigger every year. And they got these big white flowers that pop out. Now, I don't know a lot about ponds and all that type of stuff, but I do know when you have vegetation in your ponds, it does help kind of keep oxygen in your water and it helps kind of clear the uh, water we did put some catfish in here we put some perch in here years ago so it should still have that all in there i thought the dogs might follow me over here and i could get them swimming video them swimming but they absolutely love the pond they take a dip at least once or twice a day right now they're not they're not wet so i know they haven't been in here in a while but they probably were early this morning but anyways, just a little update on the farm. You can see I got some spectators. They think it's feeding time, but it's still pretty early, as hot as it is. I'm gonna try to wait a few hours. So you can see the MUs are at the corner of that field. Um, Bo, the buck is standing there next to the geese. Everybody is uh, just watching me like crazy. But um, we have been getting a little bit of water here and there as far as rain. So you can see everything is still pretty green. It's not getting crunchy yet. Just kind of pan around here. You guys can see our goats have a lot of vegetation left to eat. They're pretty much eating all the leaves that they can reach. Uh oh. Dogs are barking at something. What is it, Cora? I don't know what it is. Something in the yard. I don't know but anyways that's that um i'm just relieved to tell you guys that uh i thought the dogs were missing and they were not so kevin make a note next time you can't find the dogs and you think they ran away from the farm or got out of the pasture check underneath the kids fort it's like a awesome place for them to hide and stay really cool so I don't know what's going on over here. There's some commotion. Let's go see. Skeeter bugs out. How you doing, Skeet? They can't be what everybody's interested in because I see him all the time. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh oh. Cora's got a chicken. Cora, no! Okay, so I messed up and I came out here before feeding. You better go home. Skeeter, no. Hey. That's a no no. We just talked about this. We just talked about this. Okay? Bad girl. Bad girl, okay? You don't mess with the chickens. Thankfully, she doesn't kill them. She just kind of plays with them. She had it, and as soon as I said Cora, she let it go. Just like I was just talking about. Um, the proper way to train these dogs is to raise them with chickens when they're puppies and keep chickens in there. They're gonna play with them. Some of them's gonna 
get killed and all that but uh here's here's what happened these chickens and these birds that are all free range in our yard this little chicken that she just had a hold of is one of the golden comets that was raised with the duck that the male ducks didn't like and killed these little chickens are used to me every time i come outside they come right up to me they seen me come out here and they just in their mind they're thinking food feeding time so they're still small enough they came right through the fence they've got some learning to do but luckily this was you know this was kind of a training session she knows that she's in trouble by the tone i i gave her you guys seen her kind of roll over and cow down to me and look at me like uh oh i messed up um i'm not gonna pet her and say good job or nothing like that even though she did do a good thing and she let it go when i said hey cora no she let it go the chicken left Leesky didn't try to chase it Cora didn't chase it anymore she knew she messed up so that's a training session right there now i'm not gonna come out here every day and try to get the chickens to follow me or nothing like that i'm i'm hoping it will work naturally um dogs have a good memory when they see chickens i don't think they necessarily see food because when they do see them they don't just attack them and eat them they uh usually will sit there with them and play with them for a while and it's not them being violent that um ends their life it's usually just them playing a little too rough not like intentional like food violence i guess if that makes sense so anyways that's just uh another day on the farm caught it on camera so uh you guys know we show everything not nothing nothing around here ever goes always perfect if that makes sense it's not always rainbows and butterflies and we don't cut stuff out and just say oh that never happened i mean you guys seen i keep the camera rolling that's you know in a way that's kind of embarrassing to me because i knew better than to come in here and i'm actually surprised the little ducks didn't come in here or the little turkey because you guys seen at the first of the video that turkey came right up to me it's used to me coming out and feeding and throwing feed down so they think it's feeding time they're going to come to me they're saying hey there's mr farmer man farmer kevin he's got feed let's follow him around till he throws some down and uh, that, that's kind of my fault i probably should have threw some feed down up there by the shop or something to keep them over there because you guys know my routine usually not all the time usually we feed mojo and all the birds up there at the other field and there's a reason i do that just for this reason right here um it's so hot right now we're not feeding until later in the evening so i just wanted to come out here and update you guys on core and leesky and tell you guys about how scared i was yesterday that they were gone um, like I said, guard, good livestock gardening dogs are irreplaceable. Um, they're worth their weight in gold. Without them, our goats wouldn't stand a chance to the predators. And, uh, you know, predators, other stray dogs and stuff like that. These dogs do an awesome job. They got one downfall. They don't like birds. But that's something that we can work on. Um, just like tonight, I think, I think that's part of the training. It's on-the-job training. So, anyways, enough rambling. Um, I got a lot of kids over here that's waiting on me. They think it's feeding time, too. I got to go by and uh, make sure everybody's got fresh water filled up because it is super hot and it's just going to get hotter. So, we love you guys. Subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed, check us out on Facebook. Follow our page if you are not already. Leave a comment down below. Did I respond to Cora's action with the chicken right? Should have I scolded her more or should have I uh, told her good job on letting the chicken go? I mean, it's one of them deals where if I petted her and said good job, she might have taken it as a good job on catching the chicken. But on the other hand, if I would have scolded her, she listened to me and let the chicken go. So what do you do i still got a pocket full of bones but i'm not about to give them anymore because it's like one of them things i'm undecided on how that actually went i'm just just glad that she did obey me and the end result was her letting that chicken go and uh, it's back in the yard so subscribe leave a comment and we'll see you next time